So I am going to be doing this look right here and this is basically a long time coming. This look has been requested by several of you, either private friends or friends on YouTube or on Pinterest or Instagram and I do post a lot of pictures of this look because I do wear it quite often. If you want to dress this up more intensely for a night look, you can go ahead and add liquid eyeliner to the top lid but this is more of like the daytime version and then here is more of a night nighttime version with liquid eyeliner on top. It's not really liquid eyeliner. I actually just went ahead and used this Urban Decay eyeshadow transforming potion and I mixed it with Blackout from the Naked 2 palette. But if you want, you can use liquid eyeliner. I just grabbed this real quick. So if any of you choose to do this yourselves, I would love to see a video response. I will also be putting this video on my blog, so please don't forget to check out my blog, seattlesbestcrystal.blogspot.com, and let's get right into it. So to begin, I've already washed and moisturized my face, and I put on my concealer and my foundation. For a foundation today, I went with my Stila One Step Makeup, and this is in medium. I chose to use my sheer cover today, and I am in the colors light medium right now. And I always mention that I like to use sheer cover or two different color concealers because I feel that it gives me the best possible shades available for my skin tone and it really helps even it out and brighten my face. Okay, so I will be doing blush and highlighting last along with lips last, so let's just get right into the look. Today I'm going to be working solely from my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. I really enjoy this look. It's been requested via Instagram, via my Facebook, and via my Twitter account as well. Many of you have asked what colors I use when I put the pictures up. So today I'm just going to show you the look in total. Now this is a look that I wear if I'm going out to dinner, if I'm going out shopping, if I'm going out someplace special, but I also wear this just on a day where I don't really know what else I want to do with my eyes because I have this look kind of down pat. So it's one of those things that it's quick for me, it's easy for me, and I can just get it done fast. It's also going to be a nice look if you'd like to practice blending. It's going to be easy blending because all of the colors in the Naked 2 palette blend very, very evenly and very nicely together. To begin, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and mine is just in Original. And I'm just going to rub it in with my middle finger. And I've placed the Primer Potion underneath my eye as well because we will be placing product there. So the first color I'm going into is Chopper. It's this pretty sparkly, coppery gold color. And I'm taking that on a MAC 242, just any shader brush will do. And I'm literally going to pat this and sweep all on my lid. Don't worry if you go a little bit into your crease, that's fine. Now I'm taking my Sigma E25, which is a blending brush, but it's also kind of a flatter blending brush, a more tapered, squared up blending brush. So I'm going to go back into that same color, Chopper, and this just gives a lighter application. I'm going to sweep a tiny bit across the lid. When I applied it first with the shading brush, that was to get the base color down. Now putting it on with this E25 by Sigma, this is just going to intensify the color slightly and give us a little bit more to work with. Now I'm just using a really small blending brush and I'm going into the color YDK. And I'm just going to put that right on the socket bone. Create a little bit of an outer V with it. and it's going to taper inwards. It's gonna be thick out here and taper inwards. Now you guys know that I like to do color placement first and then blend last. Now taking a Sigma E35, and this is a blending brush, another blending brush. I'm just going to blend this out slightly. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. contour brush. I really like this brush. It's one of my favorite brushes that I use actually. And I'm going into the color Busted. I'm going to load up the brush and right in my socket, I'm going to start placing Busted. And a little bit on my outer V, just a little bit. 
Now I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm using the Sigma E30 and I'm going into this beautiful matte black called Blackout. And I'm just going on that crease and the outer V a little bit just to deepen it up. Taking a large fluffy brush and I'm going into the beautiful color Foxy. This is going to be my brow bone color. I'm going to start going downwards with this brush a little bit so that things start to blend nicely. So to blend out blackout in our crease, I'm taking that little contour brush. I'm going to mix it back and forth between busted and between blackout. A lot of times blending is mixing back and forth between two colors to get the right amount of diffusion. And it starts to give us a really nice look. Now picking up that E25 that we first used to put chopper on, I'm going to dip back into chopper and just push chopper outwards a little bit so that everything is really nice and flush. And I'm going to put a little bit of chopper in between these dark colors and in between foxy just to make it a really nice transition and a little bit of an unexpected pop of copper. Now I just want to brighten up the tear duct areas and underneath a little bit. So I'm going to take the 24-7 blending brush by Urban Decay and I'm going to go into Booty Call and just place that in the tear duct area just to brighten this up because this look can be a little bit dark. And then taking YDK and an angled brush, I'm going to just run that right under, connecting them. Now I'm going to tightline and waterline and I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Zero. After I tightline and waterline, I'm definitely going back into blackout to set that tightline and waterline. You don't want to just tightline and waterline, you always want to set it with the same color eyeshadow powder. Now I'm going to go into blackout and I'm going to set that tight line and water line. That will make sure that it lasts all night long, whatever you're doing. For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes. I'm going to put about two coats on each row of lashes. I mean, you can see the comparison, how awesome it makes my bottom lashes look. This stuff is great. Okay, now it's time for blush and highlighter. For blush, I'm going to use NARS, and this is just an orgasm. It's my absolute favorite blush of all time. This goes with literally anything and everything. I'm just gonna put it on my cheekbone, up into my hairline. For highlighter, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Cream Highlighter, and this is in Moonshine. right on the highest point of my cheekbone. And last but not least, lips. I'm going to be using a Revlon lipstick, and this is in Soft Nude. So here is our finished look. Thank you guys so much for requesting this and for requesting the colors that I used and just the video in general. I really appreciate you guys following me on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter. I'm always putting up my looks on my Pinterest and my Instagram. Every single day I update those. If you have any other looks that you would like to see, just leave them in a comment below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Bye guys!